Hey there, today we are going to be scraping tax auctions, tax, um, yeah, properties that are being auctioned off because they are foreclosed upon in Miami-Dade County. So this is the website here, and we are going to go to auction calendar, and today we have these. So running auctions, they're not currently being auctioned, and then we have tomorrow which uh, we have some auctions waiting. Anyway, so um, how we are gonna get this data, how you're gonna scrape this data is, first things first, always opening the network tab. Or maybe I'll just show you an, an example of it working. So we have all of this data here and we wanna be able to just automate collecting that. So here we have, what's today's date on the third? I'm not sure that this will work for the third because it's the current ones, yeah. So I think I have the um, awaiting ones, awaiting auctions, so boom. Um, and obviously that's nice because you can upload into a database or put in the CSV and then uh, email off to someone and you can get this scraped daily. You know, you can get this information instantly with a computer because obviously that's insanely fast uh, to have that run so like and for this example we have the case number this one and so for this is for tomorrow so yeah these are auctions waiting so i'm just scraping auctions waiting right now but obviously could easily scrape auctions closed and yeah it looks like that's it and running auctions as well so we have that one and then we should have this one here uh, i actually need to copy that one here, here boom yep so we have all of those yeah, so maybe I'll uh, actually grab, give the example of how to scrape for these ones for Thursday. So like always, you're gonna go to your network, or uh, how you doing that, network tab, and we just want to first see if there's any XHR requests. So there are, so that's great. And this one looks like the one that we want, although formatted really funky. And to verify, let's just see if that's included, and it is, so yep, that's perfect. And at first, so what I did was copied this as node fetch, copy as node fetch, and then come in here and paste. Blah, 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 paste. But the problem was, is that there's nothing, if you see in this payload here, there's nothing to, that says that it's for this date, 5-4-23. Nothing to indicate yeah, a different date. And these, I think, are just timestamps, TX and whatever this is. And yeah, there's nothing else. And I think if actually if I change that area to something, yeah, C. If I change, yeah, anyway, then that'll give me the different uh, sections here. But anyway, so I just was trying to figure out, okay, if there's nothing there, then how do I figure out how to change you know, go from a different date to a different date. Because, for example, if we say March 8th or May 8th, we should get a different result here. And let's see this case number. Oh, that's not a very good job there. Boom. So we have those. And how I was able to do that is I figured out that but, you know, a lot of government sites, especially like old sites that use ASP.NET, which I'm pretty sure these guys are using ASP.NET. Let's try and check that out here. Um, so CFM, not exactly sure what that is. I think it's ASP.NET. But anyway, a lot of times these old sites will, you'll make an initial request and that will tell the server or, you know, whatever's handling this the state of the application, like, hey, I'm on this page. So you'll actually need to make two calls. One, to tell the server, this is where I'm at, and then two, to actually get the data. Really stupid, but that's that's how it works. So you're actually gonna copy this initial request here, this index.cfm, and so there it actually has the auction date. So you're going to paste that before you call the uh, the initial call or sorry, the initial one that we copied. Um, but yeah, you're gonna paste the auction preview thing, and then 
you're going to call and I'm not sure if you need to do this, but I await the text anyway. Yeah, and then you're going to paste the uh, the one that returns JSON. The, yeah. So, yeah, and I showed you it in working action. So right, right now we're just getting the like auctions waiting, but if you wanna get the rest, then you need to change uh, area right there. So that's the uh, parameter that they're using for that. And I think pages as well. Uh, so yeah, there can be multiple pages here. So I'm just getting the first page. And I think the pages is maybe, oh, let's just check it out. Okay, right here. The page directory, yeah, it looks like what that is. And then this doesn't look like anything. Yeah, it's just some menagerie. Perfect. And then you just need to parse out the uh, HTML. And we're doing that right here. And make it into nice, pretty JSON. And I got that from Jordan's code. Thank you very much, Jordan. So he has this gist here. And I'll link to his video and gist. But yeah, so I'm uh, stealing Jordan's thunder here with scraping that property data. But yeah, that's how you do it. So then all you'd have to do is just loop through the dates. You would just increment every day, you know, five, nine, and see if there's any sales there. Which it looks like there are. So if I say five, nine, yep, boom. And any five, 10, I don't know if there's any five, 10, but you could just keep looping through each date. There are, and let's just double check that it is there. Oh, Jordan, you gotta trim that better, man. Boom, yep, so, you just loop through every single day and can, and then you'll need to loop through the pages and then you'll get all of the auctions in Miami Dade. So if you need anything else scraped, county, the, uh, county, county property data.com. That is my website. If you need anything scraped, uh, county records as, as well as anything else. If you need leads like emails, uh, for contractors or for other businesses, you need Google map scrape, Whatever you need, I am the web scraping guy. So hit me up, book a call, uh, adrian at countypropertydata.com. Thanks.